What's up, YouTube? It's BP Cast back in with another video, another reaction, and this is part three of Calvin Riley's case. Now, this uh, body cam footage, this is Officer Mewitz. Um, I believe that's her last name. The other officer that was with Officer Oliver. So this is her body cam footage, and we're gonna watch it, get my reaction. Let me know what y'all think about it, and let's get into it. I'm not the officer who stopped you. The officer that stopped you wants to know if you still live over off the Brevard Street. Yes, sir. Family house. Is a family house? Okay, so do you still live there? Okay. But that's where you, like, lay your head to sleep at night? Okay, where are you coming from tonight? The north side? Where were you at? Pockets. Pockets? Did you have anything to drink while you were at Pockets? And like I said in my other video, I feel like this is where he really messed up. He shouldn't have just said anything. Like he should not have said anything at all. Like, don't even say, you don't have to answer any questions that they ask you where you're coming from. You could literally say your mama's house. <laughs> you ain't got to say nothing to them. And that's like the one thing that I want a lot of y'all to know that when they ask a question, you don't got to an answer sh that they ask you, especially where you're coming from and where you're going. It's none of their business. Okay. Um. Yeah, he said he's coming from Pockets and he had beers at Pockets. Oh, he didn't tell me that? I asked him that because he originally said the north side and I said we're out on the north side and he said Pockets. So you told like, me he's coming from Brevard Street. Um, Holy crap, this is um, So he did say he had beers at Pockets? Yeah. Do you get any other indications? I mean, his, his speech is a slur and yeah. he's, he's got the watery bloodshot eyes and I do have odor. You want me to do signal investigation? Can I watch you? Yeah. Okay. I, mean, I promise the next one I'll do. That's it. And he's got to suspend the deal on you guys. It's suspended. Okay. Um, what's his first name? Okay. 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 So I just want to verify because I have background. You said that there's a cease tag if it's an owner and you also said that his driver's license is suspended, correct? I don't want to go into anything no, about yeah. the 1015 for the suspension because if the 1015 is for the suspension, that makes it a little bit more yeah. difficult. Yeah, we can wait on that. Let me just go that route. Okay. If he refuses the SFDs, then we can for the suspension. Well, we still have to find him and there's no other way to oh, go. Yeah, okay. That's a good problem. How then? Okay. Calvin, really quick, can you do me a favor and just shut off your car and set the keys on the dash for me? Thank you, sir. Um, so I want to go more into the beers that you said you had. Yeah. Would you be willing to do some voluntary field sobriety exercises? Not really. No? And like I said, man, he shouldn't have mentioned like how many beers he had. He shouldn't. Have. You don't have to tell him anything. Like, you know, even like, you know, having one, you know, you're obviously not going to be like drunk or all fall or anything. It's just none of their business to know anything. Okay. Here, go ahead and step out of the vehicle for us. Just go ahead and face the corner of the car for us. Your license is suspended, so we're going to... Okay, no problem. Can I call somebody to come pick me call? Yeah, we'll get to that. Just give me a second, okay? You knew your license was suspended? No, I didn't. 
That's why you didn't have your ID on you. Uh, well, first of all, my ID is on my dog. So I'm work and they will find in my lock. And I said, Calvin, yes, your phone is here. We're going to get your phone. We're going to get you back to the car, though. Okay? No, no. See that phone right now? Yep. Yes, we're going to get it. Can you get it right now? No. Are you standing right here? No. Okay, I will grab it once we get you to the car, okay? Come on, Calvin. We're going to walk over here. Okay. Thank you, sir. We're going we're gonna to get your car for you in a second. Okay. Or your phone for you in a second. Okay, okay? don't worry about that. Just close the door. Close the door right no, just leave it just close like the door. No, 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 no. I want you to close the door. Because I want you to close the door. Alright. Mr. Riley, I need to put my Um, for a small marijuana in your vehicle, no, 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 let me tell you something. Yeah. I don't know. You, you heard what she just said. She smelled my wrong, right? Yeah. I don't even fucking smoke. So okay. what? But you come with that. That's a little block. Okay. And don't. This you, right here. Do you have a medical marijuana card? No. I, don't I like how he said that he don't smoke. And then she asked him, do you have a medical marijuana card? When he literally said that I don't smoke. Oh, have you recently smoked pen? I don't smoke nothing. Okay. So, you trying that bullshit? And yeah, that's my money right there okay. for my job. I got you. So, what let me tell you something. You see my back of my shirt? What that show? I show you I'm a barber. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? So, what you're saying is you smell okay. marijuana. You're a liar. So, I'm, I'm going to show you something. That's cool. All right, go ahead and sit down in my car for me, okay? You got me a little glass in my mouth? I got it. Okay. Thank you. Smell marijuana. Yeah, Officer Oliver, go ahead and sit down for me. Kelvin, sit down for us. I will. Since you said you smell marijuana. Sit down. Is that the reason it stopped me, or you stopped me because my my right is out? Yes, sir. Okay. And you're speeding. But you, you no, know, I was speeding. Yes. I got a track mm -hmm. on my shoe. Okay. And you smell marijuana. Just watch your foot, okay? Wow, he reads it off. Yeah. Um, is there enough, like, before that? Yeah. And again, this is Officer Oliver, the one that was lying on the stand yesterday. portion of it because he refused. If he refuses exercises now, I can ask him if he wants to do a breakfast. We'll go through with this first and then. And this is the beginning where they're both going to search the car from the other body cam footage from her. They were both searching at first, and then you're going to see her, like, walk away, and that's when she finds it. And then you're going to see where she pours it out in this lady's body cam footage also. Pours out the uh, bottle that was clearly closed.
it smells very strong. This is cologne right here, though. Maybe he sprayed some He's, cologne. like, sprayed it, like, right before. I like how I like how they're just laughing and funny. Like he he how it's so fun to unlawfully arrest someone. Yeah, it's so it's so funny. There he is. questions about your drinking, okay? But before I do that, I'm going to read you your rights, okay? You're going to read whatever you want to read me, ma'am, but I'm going to tell you like this right here. Okay. When you stop me, you say it because my light was off. I'm not the one who stopped no, you. No, 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 no. I'm telling you what you said. Okay. And then the other person said, she said she smelled marijuana. I don't even smoke. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying? But it's okay. I don't want to do what you want to do, and that's going to go. It's going. And y'all can see right here in this corner right here. This is where she's pouring out the uh, the closed sealed liquor bottle that she found. That she's gonna tell the uh, the you gonna see the super like the supervisor come. That she gonna say, oh, it was closed. This is her pouring it out right now. Go that way. Did somebody else smoke in your car earlier? Was Nobody anybody else one in, in my car? car? I ride alone. Okay. And she can do whatever she wants to do. And all that right there, but that she, she said by me smoking marijuana, that's beside the point. Hey, Calvin, really quick, okay? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can all be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to your lawyer and have him present with you while you're being questioned. No, if we you talk about, we talk about cannot, marijuana and so smoking. I, I want to ask you questions about the alcohol. Life. And don't buy no alcohol. You say you stopped me for my life was off. Then she said she stopped me for smelling marijuana. That's two different stories. So alcohol is beside the point. The point is, I told you I had two bills. And she over here saying one thing about she smelled marijuana. How can you smell marijuana? You four blocks away from me. And then you say you stopped me from my lights was out. Okay, cool. No problem. We'll deal with this later. Whatever. Can I speak, Calvin? You can say what you want. Okay. I said what I said. It is what it is. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, hey, man. Or be opponent to hey, 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 hey. Say what you want. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights to not answer say any what questions you want. or make any statements. Say what you want. Do you understand what you want. each of these rights as I have explained them say to you? Say what you want. I asked you to get my phone so I can make a phone call to my people. Let them know what's going on. You say you'll get my phone. We have your phone. No. I said, ask you, can you get my phone so I can call them? And okay. you say you would. 
So I'm sitting here, okay. and See, she said she smelled marijuana. You said you stopped me because my life was off. That's a different I, story. I would, I so you. it's all good. I told it's you I was not the officer. It's all here. good, man. Just get my phone so okay. I can call my people so they'll know they come and get okay, me. So we're, we're and not. we'll go from there, and you made a bad deal. That's how it go. And you say you smell marijuana, hey. you're a silly person. Hey, Calvin. You're a silly person because I'm going to smoke. I'm going to smoke. You're a silly person. You, you use that same technological that they use in the old days. You don't smell no marijuana on me. You're a liar. Hey, Calvin. You ain't smell no marijuana. You're a liar. Calvin. You're a liar. Hey, he, he go to war for that. I ain't lying, bro. If he ain't know he ain't got no business behind there, he... But like I said, I really feel he should have just not said what he said in the beginning. He wouldn't be behind there, behind the police car or in the police car if he would have just not answered any questions. Because, bro, to be honest, the cops, they ain't your friend. They want to put you in jail. That's what they're there for, to put you in jail and violate your rights. You don't even be going to police off because you're a liar. Because we're not you acknowledging that for an excuse. That... You use that for an excuse to do what you want to do, to search. You ain't serve shit because you know what? I ain't get you ain't got nothing. Hey, Cause I don't smoke. Calvin. We I don't do no drugs. Calvin. You're a liar. Calvin. You say you smell marijuana. Why you ain't call it that? I don't give a fuck about my phone. Give my phone and me call my lady. You so she ain't come, that's right. Yeah, no, Cause you're a liar. Right right. You're a liar. You say you smell marijuana, you a liar. Calvin, I have to ask She you. said she stopped me cause my life was so I understand that. Calvin, I have to ask I was you going, a question, I told her okay? I was going to my property down hey, the road. I'm now requesting you that you said, submit to a lawful test of your yeah. breath for the purpose ain't, of ain't determining an alcohol content. Will you take no, the no, test? No, no, you're going from one to two to three. Will you I ain't the doing test? nothing. I ain't doing nothing until I speak for, to a lawyer. I ain't doing okay. nothing until I talk to a lawyer. If you refuse the test, I ain't I doing nothing until I talk to a lawyer. I have to read the I ain't doing nothing until I talk to a lawyer. I ain't doing nothing to I talk to a lawyer. You got your camera on? I ain't doing nothing to I talk to a lawyer. Don't touch me. Stay in the corner. Hey, Cal, man, you funny, man. You funny, man. He definitely that dude at the cookout that be telling the jokes. Hey, Cal, man, you funny, man. 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 You Okay. Now give my phone so I call my lady. Hey, if you refuse give to take the test, phone. I have requested of you give your driving privilege phone. will be suspended give me for a period phone. of one year for the give first refusal. So or 18 months if you're people. driving privilege give me my has been previously phone. suspended. Give me my phone. Or if you have been previously fined under statute 327.352. Give me my phone so I call my people. Give me my phone. Hey, are you on the call? Are you on the call? Additionally, if you are on the call, so that means you didn't smell shit. That means she a liar, and you going along with that shit. You don't need to be wearing that badge. You are refusal to submit to a lawful test of your breath, urine, or blood. You got two. You will be committing a misdemeanor in addition to any other penalties which can be imposed by law. I don't understand that. I don't understand that. I don't to understand that. I don't understand that, Marina Wright. Do you? I don't understand none of that. Do you still no, refuse to submit to the test? I don't test. understand none of that. I don't understand none of what you're talking about. Because right now, how y'all just did, that's unconstitutional. I'm requesting that you no, take a test. I don't understand test. none of that. I don't understand none of that. Okay. This is going to be processed you, as a I don't a understand refusal. none of that. You said three different charges. That's bullshit. Now record that. It's all on camera. I, that's right. Because you're a liar. You're a liar. And you're, you're going along with your partner, she's a liar. We got to do something. Because I don't even smoke weed. I don't smoke no drugs. I don't do no drugs. None of that. I told you where I was coming from. I told you I was going. And she said she smoked weed. She's okay, a liar. I did not find any marijuana. You're a liar. You're a liar. Do you want to call your buddy? You're a liar. You a liar. I can't call nobody with my hand I can put it in for you. I can't call nobody with my hand I can put it in for you. I can't call nobody with my hand Okay, if you don't want me to call then I'm not going to call you. 759 detain you. It will be 1015. You're a liar. You say you smell Did marijuana. You're you a liar. Are you listening? I'm going to prove that. I'm going to tell your and people. And they're going to fire you. Okay. They're going to fire you because okay. you're a liar. I'm going to call touch up You're a liar. I hope you're recording this because you're a liar. Um, you say you smell marijuana. Go ahead and put That's this right. in the bag. Yeah, I'm gonna. That's right. You do what you gotta do. 
And it is it is a sad thing because with most uh cities and towns that don't have like the canine unit, they usually use the BS excuse that they smell marijuana to like search someone's car. And that's the thing. You can never like really prove that in court because you have to like if you're not there, you won't know what you know what I'm saying. So that's like one BS excuse that most cops use whenever they're trying to get you. Is that oh we smell this and then search your car and try to find other stuff. You mess with the wrong the person. Back of my car. Run a teller tight and you mess with the wrong person. Get one more here. Seven five nine two eight one. Are you nearby? You got to do Nineteen sixty-eight. Go ahead, go ahead, call Tallahassee born. I'm gonna go ahead and call Tallahassee. Yeah. You move in. Give me the key. You, you wanna be just a damn man, you. and you're a liar. You say you smell weed, you're a liar. I don't do no drugs. My employers will tell you that. I so told you where I was going. Anymore. I was leaving a goddamn club, and I was going to my property. Yeah, I'm calling <clears throat> Like how the other officer replied, well, he ain't trying to like you know work with us, so we should just tell him it cost some more money. Like, yeah, let's be more, bro. This is. I hope, man. I hope that man. I really do hope this lady gets fired. If as long as she get fired, another lady that be all right with me because this is really ridiculous. Hmm. Let's do this. Can you um? Can we pull over there first? Yeah, I don't want to find him in the middle of the street. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. She's pulling right in front of those doors, and I walk over. I'll, I'll leave my car. Yeah. Car and we gotta put you in that one, okay? Hey, it's not you. Okay. Are you, are you gonna cooperate? We're not gonna have any issues, right? Hey, hey, ain't nobody cooperate. It's like this. You'll be okay? Hey, I'm talking about you right now. Yes, sir. I ain't got no problem with being okay. Okay. I got a problem with what happened to you. Yes, sir. Right. Well, you say like right now. I'm no problem. Okay. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. You ran the name, you know my rep, it's all good, but it's like this right here. Okay. Yes, sir. Well, you know, you'll be afforded the opportunity when they listen to me. You'll be afforded the opportunity. You'll be afforded the opportunity to provide a breast sample. You understand that, right? Yes, sir. 
You know you can provide a breath sample if all this is a big misunderstanding. I don't know about no breath sample, gotcha. but I went through three things. Okay. What you got? You ready? Okay. No problem. Yeah, come on, Muffin. Get you get on your way, okay? Hey. Yes, sir. Can you give me my phone? Yeah, you need to call somebody? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You call somebody else? Hold on. We're going to work with you. Okay. No problem. Give me my phone. Okay. We'll get it. Inside. Yes, sir. We're going to go to the passenger side, sir. Right side. Yes, sir. No problem. I appreciate that, man. Who do you need to call? Uh. Can you see you my phone? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Have a seat and um, I'll bring you the phone and we'll make the phone okay. call here, okay? No problem. Appreciate it, man. Guys, I appreciate you for all going to calling me. Make the right choice in life. You got it? It's kind of, you know, I, I get it. Okay. okay. It's, um, it didn't assist me, so why? I guess I work with you. Okay. Great, there you go. Right. Hang tight, I'll, we'll get your phone, we'll get you that phone call. See, that was me earlier, but... Yeah, just, just, just sit down. I'm fine. You got his phone. He got his phone. Oh, yeah, I took my phone. I just like how everything is just so funny. Like, we all just laugh and then gee hee ha ha. Also, I guess I should try to reread implied consent because I was going to process him as a refusal because he was just screaming at me the whole time. He just refused again. No, not explicitly. Who are we gonna call for you? You, you gotta look at it, or how does that work? You get it? Yes, sir. 10 12, go ahead. I can't take them off. Not once they're on. No. Ten for the whole. Uh, yeah, I know. Got it. I can dial the number if you just open it up for me. Can you see to open it up? Or do you want to tell me what it is and I'll open it real quick? No, so he has he has a cover on his seat, and in the cover where like the knee would sit, there's an opening, and he had it like st uh, tucked. Okay. And then the the whatever he had in his cup also. Tucked. Somebody's a nightmare with me, and Sarge shows up. They're just like all of their anger. Of course. Away. Well, yeah, that's. I mean, I'll be pretty angry too if you if you took a whole bottle of liquor that I had and unsealed it and then pour it out and then say <laughs> and then charge me with it. I mean, I don't know who would just be cooperative or happy with you, but you want to tell the sergeant that. Address here, Brevard Street. Yeah. And then driver history doesn't have any previous DUI convictions or whatever that it says on there. It says that the suspension happened on 322 of this year, and it said that the notice was provided on the 7th. Okay, go which back. Which means that address. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Um, he is already inputted in there. Um, History, I, I honestly don't really know. I 
Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Yeah, so... Thank you, lady. So... I ain't no so nothing. I'm through talking. Okay, I'm no, through so, talking. So, no, I'm through talking. Okay, I just have to no, read I'm this to you. No, I'm through talking. Will you you got to read nothing. I'm through will talking. Will you just listen to I'm me, I'm through please? talking, ma'am. I'm through talking. Okay. I am through talking. I have to read this no, to you. No, you can't I'm read none of me. I don't want to say, say nothing. I don't want to say nothing to you. I don't want to say nothing to you because you're switching up three... Three different scenarios that y'all went through since y'all stopped me. I don't want to talk to you okay, about nothing. Because you nothing. Said yes. I want to talk to my lawyer. I want to talk to you about nothing. I don't want you don't need to read nothing. Close the door, sir. You just have to listen. Close the door, sir. The door, sir. Yeah, I'm asking you, please I'm close the door. I'm going to read you the refusal. Are you recording this? Yes. Are you recording this? If you well, I don't want to talk to you about nothing. I don't want to. I don't want to talk to you about nothing. I don't want to talk to you nothing about nothing. I don't want to talk to you about nothing because you trying to sugarcoat it. No, no, ain't no previous nothing. I am it. telling you this. I don't want to tell you about nothing because what you said to me, miss, to that you stopped me because your lights was out. And then she said she stopped me because she smelled weed. So therefore, y'all both are liars. I don't want to talk to man one of y'all. I don't care about none of that. You can say whatever you want to say. I don't understand none of what you're saying. I don't want to we'll know what you're saying, and I, I am co-handed with what you're saying, I have no knowledge of what you're saying, and you miss a lot, because I don't smoke, I don't do no drugs, and what you said, do you, you said that the you stopped me because you Calvin. smell weed. My name is Calvin A. Riley Sr. I'm born and raised in Tallahassee, Florida. Yeah, no, I'm going to close the door yet. No, because you want to close the door now. I'm born and raised in Leon County, Tallahassee, Florida. I'm 55 years head. old, and you are a liar. And you, miss, are trying to call for your partner. And I don't care about a ham sandwich, and don't, don't force the dough. You just talk. You try to talk to me, I'm going to tell you like this right here. He likes I ain't, That's right. Okay. Bye. Hey, bye. Let's get you. Bye, bye, bye. All right, we'll get you to jail, okay? Bye. All right. So that's about what happened the first yeah, time I got you. Yeah. Okay, nothing in there? No. Well, okay, so he had a bunch of alcohol stash in there, but. Nothing open right here. Yeah, open. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And that is the key point because if y'all see right here, when, it, when the lady was like, oh, yeah, it was open, but hello, let's not forget what she said right here. Uh, and the bottle was a twist stop? Correct. When you found the bottle, you took it out of the pouch? Correct. And then you put the bottle on the seat? Yes. And you continue then to search the car? Correct. Mm -hmm. As part of that search, you opened containers you found in the car, correct? Correct. Mm -hmm. During that search, you didn't find any marijuana? No. You didn't find any joints? No. You didn't find any paraphernalia? No. You didn't find any evidence of marijuana besides the smell? Correct. Before finishing the search, you went back to that 20 gram bottle that you left on the driver's seat. Correct. Mm -hmm. And you picked up that bottle? Yes. You opened that bottle? Correct. That bottle was sealed before you opened it? Yes. And so you twisted the top of the bottle? Yes. And you broke the seal? Correct. And you. And that's, that's up. I mean, that's all I had to really play of that. Yeah, you can see clear as day that she said that it was closed, it was sealed, but you hear this officer say, oh, no, it was open, and told a sergeant that, which com changes the entire narrative of this whole, like, you know, stop. And not to mention, it was really unlawful for her just to open that, pour it out, knowing it was closed. But, like, you know, let's just lie, though, because it's whatever. Like, and they want to sit here and laugh at stuff while this dude's being arrested for no reason at all, bro. It's, like, it's sad. And then trying to use a... And try to use the uh, excuse of they smell marijuana or something when they clearly say they ain't find nothing, 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 oh, just a smell. But you can't prove the smell because if you're not there, how would you prove it? But, hey, what do I know? Y'all tell me what y'all think, but let's continue. Center console, he had a mixed drink, and then under his knee, he had um, a, like, little bottle of vodka tucked away. And he said he was coming from Pockets, and he had drinks at Pockets, so. But I like how she said he had drinks when he only had two beers. But, okay. But Anytime I try to ask him anything about it, he's like this. So he's uh, mad because Oliver smelled weed when she first walked up to the car. And 
He said he doesn't smoke marijuana and he doesn't smoke ham, so he's not going to search the car. Just a lot. Any evidence of that? The marijuana? Yeah. Did you get all of the signs that I got from I, the stop and everything? I mean, you saw him. This is the car that yeah, yeah, yeah. flew by us. While we were on our stop with yeah. the blue lights on, yeah, which is also an indicator. Um, are you still on? Mm -hmm. And this is where they turn their body cameras off, but... Y'all tell me what y'all think about this whole situation, man. Like I said, I think they're going to have court on Monday. So I'll be streaming the uh, court also like live. Y'all want to see it and reacting to it too. But like I said, my take on this, bro, that, I hope this lady right here, I hope she really does get fired. It's sad because the the trial is not even for her or anything. It's just for the dude, for him against the state of Florida. So, But y'all let me know what y'all think about this whole incident, man. How y'all think about these officers' behavior. And y'all have a wonderful day.